Hi again. In this video, I'll show you how to set up, how to configure LEDs on your Dirt keyboard. Well, Dirt controller has three channels of LEDs. The first one, indicator LED. The second one, side LEDs. And the last one, in-switch backlight LEDs. Okay, it's very uh, simple. You can change brightness. You can uh, move left or right to change the brightness. And or you can uh, directly type into it numbers, specific number. Okay? Or you can increase it by one or decrease it by one. And you can uh, change uh, each uh, function key lock uh, for indicator LED uh, that shows you the status of your keyboard like it's in bootloader mode or it's in macro mode or any uh, it it got any kind of errors and uh, besides the system function it also shows shows you uh, lock status uh, generally and by default I linked your uh, indicator LED to caps lock but you can change it to link it to scroll lock or to num lock for side LEDs and in switch backlight LEDs uh, there are four radio buttons this four uh, phases, this four modes are that you can change with uh, side LED control key. I will show you what what it is uh, here. Side LED. If you mapped this code onto it on your keyboard, you can change it. By default, it's in uh, FN1 S. If you uh, press side LED, this will change one by one state. Okay, but if you want to change a specific uh, detailed function, you have to use Nerdy GUI or uh, previously released CLI command line interface. Uh, here, these modes. Uh, and if you uh, if you finish its configuration, then press save, and the status will be uh, stored in your keyboard and the changes will be uh, applied right away and that's it it's very simple right okay i will uh, i will show you next time how to use macro function with nerdy gui okay see you